What's going on YouTube? Uh, Taiwan Trinity here with Random Tots. Um, so today we're going to talk about, just to talk about a little bit about working for a fleet or a dealership. And here's my take on it. Uh, one of the examples that came from a dealership is Nick Nikai uh, from Let's Drift Media. Uh, check him out. He's has some good videos. So my thought on this is really simple. If you want to work for a company or a, a shop that's fast paced, never slows down, always challenging you, always doing something new and really physically and mentally challenging stuff, work for a dealership. Especially a Freightliner, Volvo, and Cummins, especially Cummins, because Cummins, anything has that has Cummins in it, you basically work on it. <laughs> it doesn't matter if it's a generator or a, a boat or a marine, it doesn't matter. But uh, if you work on a fleet, the fleet life can be a little bit slow. Um, there's a lot of PM work, a bunch of inspection, light repair, a lot of remove and replace or R&R as we call it. And there could be sometimes a little bit challenging uh, diag, but not as complex as being in a dealership. Because what the dealership has, especially in a truck industry or heavy duty industry, is that when fleet can't fix it, we fix it the dealership fix it and if they got to find a way to like find the problem and if they had to sublet sublet like for example when when I was working at a dealership they couldn't find out what's going on with this Allison transmission so they had to sublet a guy who specialized in Allison transmission paid him and uh, had a journeyman kind of work with him so the journeyman would know what he's doing next time. Oh, would know where he's gonna look next time he deals with this kind of problem. And that's how sometimes it's a, not sometimes, but oftentimes dealership can be a little bit uh, tiring and it, it can cause a lot of burnout, especially if there's no good leadership in the shop. Um, and this is the reason why I moved to a fleet because it's a little bit a little bit relaxed than the dealership but probably this the only thing i don't like about being in a fleet is that uh the job is pretty repetitive there's a, there's a lot of pm work that that's done and kind of get tiring sometimes you know sometimes you want to get challenged and if it doesn't challenge you it doesn't make you better so that's why um what else i can talk about Tools. Um, when it comes to tools, you don't need a lot working for a fleet. You need the basic stuff and probably some more, but not too much. I like the dealership and the dealership because there is shop tools in the dealership, but because a lot of a lot of techs are using it, then you oftentimes spend too much time looking for the actual tool instead of you know, just finding it and using it and then put it back. But most of the times, techs don't return their tools, which is kind of irritating if you think about it. But then again, if you just buy your own tool, right, you can just use a tool and then keep it on your box because it's your own tool. And that's why tool techs, I mean, the ocean techs have, usually have more tools than the fleet techs and fleet life is really for technicians that know that what they're doing already because if you don't know what you're doing on the fleet you might not be a well you might not be able to get a chance to have training so that depends on the fleet that you go to but if you go go on a good fleet like Penske or Ryder, you 
might have a lot of good training because I know from my experience, the people that I work with, Penske and Ryder are like the best fleet out there to work for because um, they provide their technician proper training for their equipment or mo and most of the things that they work on. And I know some fleets that are really slow, like if you don't know what you're doing, you're just gonna get left behind and you're gonna be doing PM work and brake jobs and really light work most of your career. And if you like that kind of stuff, I mean, that's there's nothing wrong with that. But if you want a little bit challenge, um, the only place I know it's that's kind of a dealership wise, it's a dealership, I mean, Ryder and Penske, because in Ryder and Penske, what it is is they have a five year rule if their trucks are five years old, they will just sell it. And then, so you mostly likely get work on the new ones. They're not that old. And also there's a backlash to that because I don't know if you guys know that in the world of automotive and trucking industry, there's an update every year. So if you are not updated on your training, doing diag on new trucks can be a little bit panicky so you're gonna have to open a technician case and or a ticket just to get that diag um solved and sometimes they're very arrogant in a way that like they act like they don't know what they're talking about you, you don't know what they're talking about so that's one of the advantages and disadvantages of working on a fleet if you guys have anything to add to this make sure to comment down below other than that man that's about it for my thoughts um again my name is tyrone trinity and thank you guys for watching my video so click like and subscribe and deuces